Hey y'all, Pony Tracks here, and today we are going to go over what's in my pack for the upcoming 2019 PCT. Cue that cool intro music. Oh, we don't have it? Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> let's start with what's on the outside of my pack first. Right here we have Snow Peaks Titanium Mug. Had for two years. Great mug. Recommend it. <laughs> let's get in here. Uh, uh, rain jacket. Always keep it on the outside of the pack. Never know when you might need it. This is just a mountain hardware Quasar Light. Had it also for two years. Great, great rain jacket. Uh, uh, flip lock. Low key tracking pole. I use it for my tarp. Um, they have never failed on me. Um, the only thing that you might need to do with these is tighten them up from time to time, but it's pretty easy. I'll be carrying two. The other one is actually in my car. What else we got in here? Ugh. Spoon. <laughs> headlamp. Uh, black diamond headlamp. I could get a lighter one, but that one's been with me for so long. I don't want to change it up right now. Oh. Toilet paper, very important. Aside from that, in here we also have the deuce of spades. Uh, great trowel. Some people like to use tent stakes or twigs or whatnot, but when it comes to hard ground, I prefer the deuce of spades. Luxury item, my kite. Super light, super great, super fun. Really helps you stay entertained on the trail if you got a nice little breeze going and you're in a very open spot. It's really fun. Go fly a kite sometime. What else? Ah. Tent stakes. I have 10 MSR minis that I use for my bivy and my tarp. Only real difference on these is that I put little clips on them so I can just clip them right onto um, my line locks so I don't have to fiddle around with anything like that. Very simple, very quick to use, easy. Oh. Anchor power core. Uh, it's a great little battery pack, I think. Uh, probably takes about an hour to fully charge. Um, I think with a full charge one, I'd probably get five to six full iPhone charges. That's um, typically more than enough for around 10 days for me. Oh. Anything else? Oh, yep. Rain skirt. Since I'll be doing the PCT, I'll probably just use this as shade for my legs in the desert section, as well as the alpine section to just block wind a little bit, getting too cold. Um, I chose this over the rain pants. Uh, I think the weight difference is marginal, if at all, really. Um, a lot of people like to use the dance pants from Amazon. You can just Google lightweight dance pants and it'll pop up. But for the rain skirt, it's a bit more breathable. And if necessary, I add two uh, small strips of Velcro that I'll just tag onto it so it stays a bit more closed on the legs when I'm in the alpine sections. Anything else? Uh, since I was just doing the Washita trails, getting ready for the PCT, I decided to do a full load. Uh, so I uh, brought some crampons with me. Uh, <laughs> Definitely not necessary for the snowy, snowy, snowy uh, month of April in Little Rock, Arkansas. Just a basic crampon. I think they probably cost me 12 bucks. Um, I like them. They're stable. They can really punch into ice pretty well. Oh, what else do we got? <sighs> okay. Just a buff. Gotta keep that neck. Uh, neck sweat from going too many places. Uh, I like the buff. Buff is very versatile. Definitely recommend it. It is... I can't remember who made this one, but I think it's a UV buff with the UPF of 25, I think. Um, great little buff. Still doesn't smell. <laughs> Aside from that, I got the Ultra Gators. If you can see that. Nice little gators. Um, I dig them. They're... Yeah, they're gators. They keep all the crap out of my 
shoes, and I like that. Aside from that, we have the darn tough socks. Uh, I like the long sock. Some people go for the short ones. I just enjoy the long one. It's kind of a personal preference. Um, darn tough socks are good socks. You can definitely wear them for quite a while, and uh, the warranty is not too bad either. Aside from that, oh. Oh, our sun gloves. Um, I think I'll probably just be using these the whole way through. Um, I don't think I'll need my actual uh, fleece gloves for the high Sierras, but that may change. Um, I like them so far. Uh, you can pick these up on Amazon for, I think, tw no, I got these from REI for, I think, 20 bucks. Anyways, nice sun gloves. Favorite part about them? They have a butt. So you don't lose them. What else we got? An LD Monk tarp, fantastic little tarp, um, absolutely love it. It has been super good to me and winds up to 60 miles an hour, uh, downpours, and quite frankly, um, I don't think I'll be changing this one out anytime soon. It is definitely probably my favorite piece of gear that I have. So if you think about getting a tarp and you're not that big of a person, I'm 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 somewhere around there. Um, definitely worth a shot uh, to try it out. I think it's only 110 bucks. You can get it from NLD, Mount Laurel Insect. Ugh. I brought off, but this will not be coming with me on the PCT. Just right now, the ticks and mosquitoes are crazy here in Arkansas right now due to the really, really mild winter and just the heavy rains. But like I said, that's not coming with me, so forget that. What else? Cnoc Vecto 3 liter. Um, I am definitely a water hog, uh, so I will be bringing the 3 liter. A lot of people will bring the 2 liter, but to me, I would definitely rather have more water than not enough water, personally. It's, it's definitely a choice, uh, but you know, hike your own hike. And know what you're capable of and what you like. Okay, on the outside of the pack. Sawyer Mini Squeeze and a Smart Water Bottle. Um, I like the Sawyer Mini. Uh, people complain about the flow rate. Like I just said, I'm a water hog. So it's really nice to just kind of wet my whistle and keep going. Kind of conserves water. And that I have attached to my pack the Zimmer Built water bottle holders that I use to hold a water bottle. And then on the other side, I use them to hold snacks and my cell phone while I listen to music. All right, with everything on the outside taken care of, let's actually get in here. So, the number one thing on top that takes up probably the most space in your pack on the PCT is your bear cam. Um, like I said, I was doing a full weight run on the Wichita, Tra Wichita Trail, and uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I guess it really pays to already have such a low base weight. Um, it's also a really great stool. Uh, I think I probably could have gotten away with the, the 450, but I didn't want to risk it and, you know, actually have to sleep with some of my food, like I heard some people do with the 450 on the PCT. So I just went ahead and got the 500. Really good little guy. Sturdy. Ugh. Aside from that, we actually are starting to break into Clothing. Okay. See the Summit towel. Nice, lightweight, orange. Um, first roll of the Hitch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Always bring a towel. Very, very important. And in here, we just also have a stove that I've had since I actually started. I cannot remember the name of it. You can definitely get a lighter stove, but to me, this one has just been reliable and I enjoy it. It's a nice little stove. I also like the fact that I don't have to use a lighter to actually get it going. It's just press a button, boom. You got your little stove ready to boil some water or whatever you want. After that, we have the EE Recon Bibby. It has been a good Bibby. Seems to look very, very well. Uh, Really dig the bathtub floor. It's got a good waterproofness to it, as well as a durability bottom. 
on it that I just, um, I've been using this for I think, uh, I think about two years now. There's really no wear and tear on it that I have noticed. It's a great little bitty. Um, I think I, yeah, I got the large, which might have been overkill, but that'll make a bit more sense when you actually see my quilt. Aside from that, we have the Thermarest memory foam pillow. Um, I know that there's inflatable pillows that are lighter and potentially bigger and more comfy, but I just strangle the pillows when I sleep. I don't know what it is, but I just, ugh, just, anyways, I had to get this after I popped two inflatable pillows. It's a, uh, it was a lesson learned and I just decided to say to heck with it. I want a pillow that's gonna last. Aside from that, just a gas can. Not a big fan of no cook. No cook is just, I don't know, at the end of the day of hiking 20 miles or so, I definitely want something that's a pick-me-up and just warm food in my belly. That just helps me sleep a bit better. Aside from that, we have my Puffy, which is just a mountain hardware down jacket. I picked it up at Next Adventure in Portland, I think, for 100 bucks. It uh, probably not as warm as, as the Ghost Whisperer, but this paired with my rain jacket always keeps me warm enough. Um, and if it's not warm enough, I can just throw my quilt around me and hang out. Uh, for this trip, I will not be bringing the fleece. I might mail it to myself at some point if I really, really need like an active layer to be wearing while I'm in the high Sierra or something like that. But so far, I haven't really found much need to do that yet. Aside from that, my sleep layer, just a Patagonia uh, Capiline long sleeve just to pretty much keep the grime and whatnot off of my quilt and anything else. Uh, aside from that, sleep socks if I need them. Uh, might not need them, still. Just an extra pair of darn tough socks. These are actually the crew cut ones, so not as long, but I don't think I'll be hiking in these too much, just use them to sleep. And uh, time for the quilt. It is an underground quilt. Bandit, 10 degree, with I think six ounces of overstuff. I got the extra large, I like to call it Big Bertha. Um, I like it, it's really good. Um, it's kind of my year round quilt. I use it in summer, winter. Um, I like it a lot in summer because I'm a cold sleeper and as soon as the sun comes up, it's pretty much my alarm clock because I get way too warm and it's time to start moving. <sighs> Anyways, it's a great quilt. It has kept me warm, I think down to five degrees. This is the lowest I've ever actually gone with it. Ugh, anything else? Nope. Blue trash bag, keep all that stuff in in case you do get a little bit of rain. And then aside from that, we have my Climate Static V-Light inflatable pad. Kudos to the people that can use the thin lights that are just razor thin. I'm not one of you. I definitely like to have a little air mattress for my sleep. Uh, I like this pad a lot. I also have the Thermarest. Um, what is it? I forgot. Anyways, I also have the Thermarest pad that people like a lot. I think it's the one that has the R value of 5.7, but this one I think is a little bit lighter. It has an R value of 4.3, which will be plenty for whatever I do. And since my pack is the Granite Gear Verga 2. It's frameless. And what I like to use for my frame is actually a CCF pad. I think this one has eight sections. Yeah, eight sections. I cut it down from 12. And this is pretty much what just keeps my back comfortable when I hike. It's also nice to just have a nice place to sit when you're finished hiking for the day. Something that's just not the ground, something that's comfy. And personally, I think this is just a nice little addition. Um, if you already have a frame pack, you can just cut this down to, I think, four sections, and it'll be just as good for you. I just kind of enjoy the little bit of extra cushion on my back when I'm out there hiking. Let's see, aside from that, uh, for the winter sections, I'll everybody be bringing the Koba Ice Axe. Uh, a lot of people really enjoy the Camp Corsa Ice Axes. 
So much so that I could not actually find one online. So I went down and picked this one up. I think it was 80 bucks. And it seems like a really good ice axe. I've not had a chance to try it out yet. But, you know, made in USA. Enough said about that. Aside from that, anything else in here? Nope. The only other things I'll be bringing, aside from the glasses on my face, are the shirt. It's a Columbia Silver Ridge 2, I believe. I got the nylon polyester blend. It is... I've, I wore it for my entire hike of the Washita Trail, and it was... Um, it's a good shirt. I got it because it's got the UPF of 35 or so, which will definitely limit me to what sunscreen I use and how I use it, or how much I use. And then we also need to check out where I keep all my toiletries. So I just threw the stuff in the bear can so it wasn't roaming around too much. The only real things in here that are, you know, of note are actually my Lightsmith tweezers. Super small tweezers. Good for blisters, blenders, things of that nature. Uh, aside from that, baby nail clippers. These are special. They're actually my baby nail clippers. My mom held on to them for so long that they'll actually be able to get used again. Um, aside from that, in here we just have an emergency lighter. Throw that over there. Floss without the case removed so it's lighter. And then also some lip balm with sunscreen. You remember to put sunscreen on your lips. That's kind of important. People forget to do that. And then aside from that, we just have my medicine bag, which uh, Neosporin, uh, infection suck, especially when you're out on the trail and you just feel it getting worse. It's one of those lessons that I've learned that I just kind of always carry Neosporin with me. Um, it's just a good emergency thing to have. Um, aside from that in here, we have some Amitrex because I get migraines. Uh, it would really suck to miss an entire day of hiking simply because I have a massive headache. Along with that, there's just aspirin, some Imodium, and I think that's it, really. So one other thing left is what I'll be wearing for the majority of my hike, which are my prescription sunglasses. The only thing added to them is just a, put a little frat strap on them. Picked this one up from Amazon for six bucks. It's, I'm gonna count it as one weight. And then we also just have headphones. I picked these up from Walmart for four bucks. Super cheap. I was actually surprised they have a microphone in them. Uh, and then finally, we have my sun hat, which is why People call me hat guy. <laughs> it has been my hat since, as long as I can, I think for about four years now, ever since I worked in Wyoming uh, as a ranch hand, it's definitely just been a good sun hat. Uh, I like it. It's really actually good in high winds. Um, I think I had it on when I was riding a four-wheeler, like 55 miles an hour, and it did not budge once. It's a really good hat. You can pretty much position it any way you want. Just a nice little guy. Anyways, if you guys got any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave one. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if I left anything out, I'll be sure to make an update. But until then, I'll give you guys another update when I'm actually on the train going to San Diego. Um, so hike on.